Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Classic Tetris Gauntlet Open. Tonight, or this afternoon, I guess, we are having our first matchup of Tristop seated at number one, averaged in his qual 1 million and 100,000, has a personal best of 124,000, seated, of course, at number one with such an impressive average. We have Tristop. And seated on the right with a personal best of 1,150,000. Qualled at an 8th seed with 878,000. Looking to go up against number 1. Possibly pull up an upset here. We have Huff. Both players have said ready in the chat. So let's go ahead and count them down to their game 1. This is best of 5. 3, 2, 1. Tetris. players are off to a start here as is best of five that means we have potential to see these games go the full distance anyways to start off here dress up is already having to do a slight amount of burning he's looking for the right piece to hopefully burn this out meanwhile Huff has already knocked down a tetris taking an early lead and an untimely z piece forcing it trust up to go for a z flat it's going to cost trust up a couple of lines here Huff is going to be able to start trying to build up a lead he is tetris ready does build up a couple of dependencies and so now he's having to burn Tristop is out of it Tetris ready and there's gonna be a Tetris with Tristop back to a relatively close game here Huff is set up for a Tetris covers up the well at the wrong time opens him back up and then a Tetris to follow three hundred or not three hundred thirty one thousand for Tristop looks like he's going for a center well and Huff now Setting up for a clean right well here. Huff now knocks down a Tetris, goes up to 76,000. Tristop not falling too far behind. He's down by 40,000 points, roughly two Tetrises. Now Tristop is going to have to burn up a couple pieces to the side. Tristop now Tetris ready. Huff set up for a column 9 Tetris. He's going to knock it down, and is going to transfer over the well back to column 10. Tristop not falling too far behind. 67,000 for Tristop, 106,000 for Huff. Tristop off to a quite the slow start here, and having to go for, once again, another Z flat. But gets two S pieces, followed by a T. Beautiful combination of pieces. And Tristop can now start to build up for the next Tetris. It's looked like he's not going to go for the L spin. Going to hold out for the O to tuck. He's Tetris ready, but so is Huff. And there we go. Simul Tetris for Huff and Tristop. 94,000, uh, 131,000 Huff in the lead by just around three Tetrises now. And there's going to be another Tetris for Tristop. Cutting into the lead just a little bit. But he does have to burn off a couple pieces to get Tetris ready. Huff now in a little bit of a dicey situation, but nice split double. Followed up by a long bar for a Tetris. Both players playing fantastic here in the level 18. Tristop did get off to a slow start, but it looks like he's starting to kind of find his rhythm. However, is going to be forced to do a slight amount of burning here. Was looking for the T piece for the cleanest possible solution. It didn't quite come, and now Tristop's having to do some more burning. Huff can utilize this opportunity to take the lead. Huff now burns out the single, couldn't use that long bar. However, you can use the next one, knocks down a Tetris, maintaining just around almost 100,000 point lead. However, he is ahead in lines, and Tristop is set up for a Tetris, so he could knock that down, which he does. 60,000 point lead for Huff at 231,000, Tristop trailing behind at 173,000. Tristop, Tetris ready, Huff knocks down another Tetris. Tristop getting droughted right now, but fantastic placements. Nice accommodating board and two quick Tetrises for Tristop. Still down by three Tetrises, but that means they're matching Huff's efficiency. Knocks down another Tetris. But so does Huff. 300,000 at 242. We just passed roughly the halfway mark of the pre transition. And now Huff running into a little bit of trouble here. Has a couple of dependencies. Gets fantastic pieces to fill them in. Tristop also with dependencies in their board. They're set up for a dirty Tetris, and they're going to knock it down. 266 for Tristop. Huff needs one more piece to open up the well, and they do so with that Z. Both players are Tetris ready, holding out for the long bar. Tristop gets the long bar first, knocks down a Tetris. 
closing the gap only separated by just around 20,000 points and another textures for Tristop 331 to 313 Tristop has closed the gap to only one Tetris knocks it down now we are back at to a neck and neck game 335,000 to now 354 however Huff knocks down a Tetris taking a slight lead it knocks down another one goes up to a 40,000 point lead Tristop however trying to manage finally knocks down a Tetris after being drowned and is Tetris ready again both players are being incredibly clean right now 381 to 400 we are on pace to see dual 500k transitions here. And it's all going to come down to level 19. And uh, Tetris for Tristop goes up to 405,000. Still trailing by one Tetris. However, much better position than he was early on in the game. He's going to have to burn off some pieces to the side to get Tetris ready. Looking for another LJ or T. Doesn't burn it off, interestingly. And decides to burn off with the S, taking a double burn. Tristop getting drought. It sets up a long bar dependency on the left. This is dangerous. It does a nice little J spin. Knocks down a Tetris. Tristop is a little bit safer now. And setting up a lot of interesting delay burns. But look at how beautiful they're turning out. However, Huff has not been able to really extend the lead to too much. He's still up by only one Tetris. However, we are about to reach the transition. Huff going for one last Tetris by transition. Tristop aiming to clean up. He's not going to go for the trip with the eyepiece. However, he goes for it this time. Tristop transitions at 444,000. Huff transitions at 462. Huff opens up the well, waiting on the long bar. Board's a little bit high, and ooh, he had a chance to burn out there, but missed out on it, but knocks down the Tetris. Goes up to 488,000. Tristop trailing by 30,000 points. It's getting set up for their Tetris right now. They are Tetris ready, however, they do have to burn untimely pieces. Huff now up to a 40,000 point lead. Tristop setting up an overhang, able to get that piece all the way over to the left and gets the IPs just when he needed it. If he would have held out any longer, you'd been seeing a very dangerous situation. However, Huff is not letting up. He still has a one Tetris lead, but had to do a little bit of burning here at the beginning. However, Tristop is now clean, waiting for the right pieces. He's not going to get Tetris ready with the long bar. Instead, choose to build out the left. Now he is Tetris ready, wait, waiting on the long bar now. Meanwhile, Huff is also Tetris ready. Tristop having to cover up the well just temporarily does a nice flat long bar burn. Huff still Tetris ready. Tristop not able to score on this Tetris, but finally knocks it down. 517,000 to 532,000. Both players Tetris ready. Huff and Tristop knock down a Tetris. Huff just in the lead by one Tetris here. Tristop is Tetris ready. So is Huff. Both players holding out for the long bar. And Tristop knocks it down. Huff with a slight misdrop there. It's going to cost them some lines. And Tristop is going to go aggressive, placing the long bar on the end. He's Tetris ready. He's going to burn for a conservative double. Knocks down a Tetris. And with that, Tristop takes the lead. 603,000 for Tristop. Huff in a little bit of a dicey situation at 593,000. Tristop knocks down another Tetris. Goes up to 633,000. Huff still trying to burn this out, but gets a nice long bar. Looking for an L or a J to kind of fill in that dependency. And is now looking for an L. Lovely triple. And beautiful pieces for Huff. He is out of it, but Tristop has been able to build up a 60,000 point lead. However, Huff is Tetris ready. Waiting to score a Tetris now. Just waiting on the long bar. Now needs a little bit better pieces. Tristop now up to an 8,000 point lead. Huff finally knocks down a Tetris. 644. Tristop counters with a Tetris of his own. 725,000 for Tristop. 644,000 for Huff. Huff knocks down another Tetris. Goes up to 675,000. But Tristop answers right back. 758,000. Huff is going to have to find out some way to outscore Tristop here in these next few lines but it doesn't look like it's going to happen Tristop is on max out pace and he's continuing to score with such high efficiency however he does build up dependency but gets the perfect pieces followed up by a Tetris 822,000 almost 100,000 or over 100,000 point lead for Tristop meanwhile Huff is just doing his best another Tetris for Tristop goes up to 855 Huff answers right back 743 and another one 777 Tristop has Tetris ready waiting on the next long bar he is ready just holding out where is the long bar for Tristop though? Huff now knocks down a Tetris, closing the gap even little by little. Tristop running into quite the drought here. Nice flat burn with the Jade though. Still, where is this long bar for Tristop? What a drought! Huff is whipping only one Tetris and Tristop knocks it down. If he scores three Tetrises here, he can potentially get a max up. But ooh, a couple of rough placements. Huff knocks down a Tetris, 880. Tristop really needs one more Tetris to kind of secure it. However, it doesn't look like he's going to get it. Huff is going to take the lead. 915,000. Tristop opens up. He needs to open up the well. Well is... Oh, no. He's going to go for the left, left well Tetris. He needs it as Huff knocked down a Tetris at 9... 
54. Tristop holding out for the long bar. Will it come? There it is. Tristop goes to 951, but it's not enough. And Huff is going to take game one. Barely.